Federico Bianchi is an Argentine visual artist. His creations amalgamate ancient imagery with contemporary movement. What you see is a, a visual work that I do uh, with photograph, photographs that I take and I manipulate them and I create this uh, uh, art pieces with mathematic rotations and repetitions and patterns that I call body mandalas. Mandalas mean circle and they've been here in, you know, in different cultures throughout the centuries. A mandala is a spiritual and ritual symbol in Buddhism and Hinduism, an integrated form around a unifying center. He started his creative process in 2010. When I get back to the studio and, and start to do the post-production process, I start playing with, with these photographs that I did and, and like almost in a therapeutic way, like uh, playing with them and really uh, having fun with these figures and either body parts or body poses from these models that I shot. And, and this voila moments. I was born in 1974. Uh, I, I worked in audiovisual industry a lot of years. Um, I was involved in music. I used to have music bands, play the guitar, bass, keyboards. I used to sing. I used to study uh, sound design and engineering. Bianchi trained in audiovisual techniques, specializing in video and image composition. An entrance to the portal of image manipulation. Years in film production led him to meet his inspiration. His experience documenting the work of Argentine photographer Aldo Cesa pushed him into crossing a threshold. He was about to become a visual artist himself. It all starts by choosing a model in a casting, you know, online usually. Uh, depending on what type of creative approach I want to pursue, uh, either with dark skin model, white skin model, with some special skills, because um, you know I prefer models that have flexibility and, and and maybe like a yoga background or ballet background, like very contortionist, etc. For what? Basically to give me really great variations of body poses. And I take that as a raw material for my creations. This setup is really simple, a model, a light, a background, and myself. Maybe a makeup artist like helps with a, applying oils and stuff that I use for, for shining and giving accents to the skin. But the magic happens afterwards, as he says. Bianchi gives it a few days, looks at the photos, picks one, and then the digital mysticism begins. And then I go back into post-production with those images as, and I take them as a brush. It's just a starting point of my creations. Once it's, that piece is in the wall, it's like a baby's born. That is the final piece and it's a beautiful process, really. His work has been exhibited in Miami, Mexico City, and Amsterdam. David Smith is director owner of the Smith Davidson Gallery in Miami. I've seen a lot of photography, I've seen a lot of art, but this in a way brings, uh, the imagery is almost like ancient, the shape, you know, the Mandela shape, but then the imagery itself is completely contemporary and the combination makes it unique. And that's what really feel to me. So as you can see in my work, uh, symmetry and balance is, is a, a, a key voice in what I try, try to com, com, convey and express. So I take the same amount of work and dedication in the lighting process, which has to be symmetric as well, to have the shapes uh, that I want to show in a very clean and symmetric way. So uh, every highlight in the skin, every shadow has to tell something, has to be like a brush. So every final photo for me is just a brush to create something unique and something that doesn't exist. It is a safe place for him to be. I found myself doing this and enjoying it and, and being 100% into the process of creating them 
almost like like a like going to therapy or some sort of of, of process that I think is a reflection of what's was going on at the at the point that I start doing them. Bianchi loves black and white. It allows him to focus on the texture, the poses without the layer of color. Color is, is like like another language and it's a strong one because it's sometimes uh, filling the whole room with that statement. It's a big statement color. For the moment I use female bodies to create my work because they're beautiful. They also speak about creation, about uh, har harmony. I mean, and that's, for some reason, female models have been artists, muses for centuries.